Growing up, I was always, especially after coming to the United States, um, always told that the Caribbean was this ahistoric space, that essentially the place I came from, because of the many hurricanes that erased architecture, the fact that many of us came from the Atlantic slave trade, that we didn't have family histories to go back on and to be able to recreate our past. As an adult um, and as a curious child growing up, I had the opportunity to really analyze that and look at the work of other creatives and other writers who, like me, questioned that. I'm Firele Baez. I'm a visual artist um, who usually paints, but sometimes delves into sculpture. And the melding of both is what I'm working on here at the watershed. This uh, sculpture evokes an actual architectural space, the Palace of Sans Souci in the Northern Kingdom of Haiti, of King Henry Christophe, which is very, Latin with particular histories, not just for the Caribbean, but in a global context. It's the largest sculpture we've made, or that, you know, it's kind of the, the best iteration of the vision of, that I've been trying to create. I'm primarily a painter, so my adventures into 3D land are still conceptualized through painting, so it's more the experience of having um, a permeable painting, something that you don't just have to look at, but that you can touch and walk through. We laid out these 30-foot tables, and maybe four plies in, went in with box knives and cut out these little eyelets that are a very simple gesture, but when combined evoke, you know, then stars at night or fish floating in the water. In the Caribbean, I think we were at the forefront of experiencing a lot of those climate changes. Shorelines moved, homes are built and destroyed with every season. And one constant symbol for me was always a blue tarp. It either meant destruction or um, shelter. Nothing in here is accidental or unplanned. There's nothing that's been mass fabricated. Every gesture is handled and, and lovingly created. A lot of architecture has to be very, very resilient for it to last through the centuries. Um, and something like Sans Souci in Northern Haiti, it has existed since the 1700s. It's funny because we think of Harvard as this like bulwark of education and the, a very established, long-lasting institution. But I think people forget that in Peru and other places in Latin America, we had had a universities for 300 years before that. So this idea of the layers of history that are enmeshed in architecture are meant to be evoked by these things. And, you know, we think of history as human because our experience of time is very much predicated by memory, but the world around us has longer histories. In, in terms of my work, and if, if my praxis has been contextualizing the Caribbean within a global context, this is as clear as I can get.